Hi everybody, it's me, the Gar Relaxin, also known as Chino and Artie. I gotta tell you guys this. Whatever happened to multi-pack CD-ROM games? I remember back in the days, I used to go to Walmart and then buying a pack of 10 games in one single price. And then I went to the 99 cent store only store and I bought this years ago. This was about 10 years ago when the 99 cent store just ran opening over here in Moreno Valley. And I bought all of them. I gotta say this, look. Whatever happened to multi-pack? Look, this is a five-in-one pack, sports pack. You get all these sports games. You get tennis court. You got Jack Nicholas golf. You get Grand Prix five, uh, 502. It's a racing game, a motorcycle. Action soccer. And Tom Landry strategy football. So it's really cool. That's a five-pack. Put that on the ground. Now this is another five-pack arcade favorite. Okay, what's inside? You get Karnov, Pipe Mania, Bad Dudes, straight from the arcades, Heavy Barrel, and Tag Team. The funny thing is these games are very, very old games, and they just put it in a CD-ROM. Uh, these were CGA or v EGA graphics gaming. Alright, let's put that on the ground. Then there's a Productivity Pack. Yes, the Productivity Pack. It came with Internet Madness. Um, yeah, look at the requirements, only 4 megs of RAM. Uh, complete House, um, Letterworks, Font Scripts, and Studio Select for Click Art. So this is an old school productivity pack. So you can actually, this is before Photoshop became popular. And you get, uh, and because the internet was not really accessible at that time. So they put them in CD-ROMs for you to um, put, get pictures and clip arts, etc, etc. Then later on, there was the 10 pack. Here we go. Wow, this is a pack of 10 CD-ROM games, 10 in 1. It comes with Terminator 2 Screensaver, Beyond the Wall of Stars. It comes with Shadow President, a strategy game. Micro Cookbook, it's basically a cookbook and a CD-ROM. Chuck's Top 10, Who Killed Sam Rupert, it's an adventure game. The Secret of Dr. Quandry, Home Repair Encyclopedia, uh, National Parks Multimedia Guide and what does that say? Something about Africa? Uh, uh, where is it? At? I don't know. It's something about uh, I don't know. A Savengers Hunt Adventure Series Africa. That's what it is. Now this is a 10 pack CD ROM game and I got this for 99 cents. Now this one's kind of banged up but I never even actually used these games. Nope. I never even used them. Some are just. Uh, I mean, look, okay, this is a 10-pack of arcade games. So, supposedly it's arcade. You get Heretic that runs off the Doom engine. You get General Admission Baseball. Isle of the Dead. Um, I remember LJR made a review about this. He's a good, good YouTube guy. Um, the Magic Death Virtual Murder 2. I kid you not, the original Homeworld. Yeah, not, not this, not the, not... Not this Homeworld, because this is Homeworld 2. No, I got the original. Um, man, my bat, the Batman fell down. Yeah, because I got the complete set of Batman. See, Batman, Batman, Batman. But, um, yeah. And Family Doctor, Time Out Sports, Kids Read, Family Cook. I mean, what kind of a mixed title batch that has that game Heretic along with these family titles? Yes. And then the box kind of banged up. Now another pack of 10 CD-ROM games, all right? It's kind of awkward how you can do this. Okay, look at this. Wolfstein 3D, the shareware version. You get Doom, shareware version. Prime City, the full game. Wizardry, Crusaders of Dark Savant, the Chaos Continuum. Continuum. Uh, Air Force Commander, World Atlas, GT Personal Accounting for Windows. And uh, Printmaster, uh, 185 fonts. And it says right here, includes sleeves to protect your complete 10-pack. <laughs> it comes with sleeves, not CD cases, okay? And it's all in here. Yes. And I bought this for a dollar each. Each one of them are a dollar each. Now, the funny thing is how they arrange the titles and put it into one box. It's just like saying, hey... Um, 
one side right here is a, 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 a Chinese restaurant, and across the street is uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? A pet store, you know, where, where a pet adoption. So you don't know what meat you're eating or something like that. You know, just an example like that. Or uh, you see a McDonald's right here, and across the street is a mortuary. So th that's an example of what's wrong with these uh, titles, and then. Uh, I remember they used to sell it at Walmart, and then they bargained it up to sell it on the 99 cents only store. So I bought all of them, and it's kind of crazy because this is this is back in the days. Now multi-pack CD-ROMs are being sold, and and internet direct downloads from via Steam or online downloads. So they don't have these anymore. I mean, they, I mean, like, yeah, they don't have these pack of tens or pack of five CD-ROM games like they used to. I mean, it's mixing a bag of titles, and I'm just putting them here in my box collections of video games. Uh, that's Descent, and it piles up. I mean, yep, this is all my games. I got more. Um, whatever happened to that? It's not like how they used to. Like, here's an example. Splinter Cell. You get a two-pack of Splinter Cell. You get Splinter Cell and Pandora Tomorrow. And then after that, I got another Splinter Cell game, Chaos Theory. So basically, that's a complete title set. I got one, two, four, and three. And then it runs off uh, the Unreal Engine. <laughs> and then here's an example to it, too. Um, another great example. Everybody has... If you're a big adventure gamer guy uh, that likes you know, adventure games, you really got to play The Longest Journey. One of the best games. Futuristic scenario, etc. But... They made a sequel, and they made the sequel, and then I waited until they have a Game of the Year edition, and this is it, Dreamfall. And the cool part is, you in, in the bottom, it's sleepily hidden. It says in the bottom, let's see if I can focus it, includes the, um, it includes the Longest Journey Part 1, it comes with the, the Longest Journey DVD and the orchestral soundtrack of the sequel. So you get the Game of the Year edition, you get Part 1 for free. So instead of this... Uh, this swapping, because uh, the original one is in CD-ROMs, um, the final copy is on the DVD-ROM. So, yes. Um, and now they make chapters via direct Steam. So, you go to Steam.com, and then you can get it direct download. They got other chapters now. But I don't like that. I want the box. I want to get the full game in the box set. There's no more. They don't have these anymore. They don't sell the boxes anymore. Uh, I remember Fear, the video game Fear. Um, everybody knows this game. This is uh, um, the, the original box until they made a, a self. Um, they made the extraction point. This is an expansion pack. And then they made a standalone expansion pack called Persuade to Mandate. But before that, I actually bought a demo disc. And this demo disc includes the uh, bonus DVD inside. So when you do a pre order, it gives you a DVD. So there's the DVD, and then it's it's an exclusive demo, and the graphics are nice. Uh, it's kind of like mixing the story between that movie, The Ring, or um, well, yeah, The Ring mixed with Counter Strike. So it's a scary game. So whatever happened to multi packs? I miss it. So um, publishers now these days they just want to just sell their games digitally downloads, and they say it's more cheaper that way. Instead of mass producing CD ROM games. Like, look at this. This is a two pack of Descent Free Space. So, you open up this side, it shows its info. And then, after that, upside down, because, uh, oh yeah, when you, then it shows Free Space, Silent Threat, and then it shows it right there. Kind of cool packaging, huh? See? Ain't that a magic trick? <laughs> so, they, they don't have these anymore, you know? And then, um, there's another pack like that, too Shogo. One of the best anime games that went to PC, okay? And you play, a, you're in a mech, and then look at that. And then when you go flip it around, you get this game, another anime game, and then you open it up. See, this is no magic trick. It's just flip. See? Ain't that cool? They don't make, this is the most original multi-pack ever released. And then they start releasing um, games and different size boxes. I mean, look at this, you know. I remember buying processors, okay? 
okay, processors now are being sold in small boxes like this. See, look how small this is. Or, or at least this size, you know? It's comparable to my new APU. And then, then they sell this one. I remember my very first AMD processor was this one. Look how it's packaged. The AMD 64. 64-bit. Yeah, this is a 3500 plus with a socket of 939. This is old school. This can play almost anything. It comes with a fan and everything. Three-year warranty. And you know what? I still have that processor. It's still sitting right here. <laughs> I still have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with thermal paste residue all over it. So, whatever happened to the multi-packs? I miss it. You know, um, so if there's developers out there, any nerds out there, any geeks, etc., etc., put a comment below. Don't you miss the multi packs of games in one? Oh, wait, let me hear it. Here's an example. Uh, all right, my last example you get Doom 2000, Wing Commander Prophecy, Blade Runner, a sci fi ultimate series package in one box. Yes. Dune 2000, I mean, Dune is the one that started out the, the true strategy games. And then after that, they made Dune 2000, which people thought it was a copycat of Command & Conquer. No, it was the other way around. So, well, I thank you guys for watching my, uh, my multi-CD-ROM video. So, uh, click on the subscribe button if you like the video or not. Just um, put a comment. Bye.